Paul Myhill has been chosen as the recipient of the 2013 Founders Honors Award based upon his personal involvement with IDA's founder as a peer and an IDA advisory board member. Paul uses his passion to help those in need by making a difference in their lives and their organizations and therefore multiplying his impact and reach recipient of the 2013 Founders Honor Award, Paul Myhill. I've been told by Steve, the photographer, that if I stand up here, I won't ruin the pictures. I think Wayne and I have known each other for 12 years now, and I think that's worthy of an award in and of itself, right? But <clears throat> Invisible disabilities touch all of us in different ways, many ways. I lost my mother to depression and anxiety. Uh, my beautiful daughter, Faith, suffers from SPD. My wife suffers from ADHD, attention deficit husband disorder. <laughs> but progress is happening, folks, and um, many of the, 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 the folks in this room are, are part of that progress, that step forward to see us chip away at the, the physical, the emotional, the psychological things that impact so many around the globe. Um, I'm thankful, I'm blessed to play a small part of that. A few years ago, I started playing around with botanical extracts, uh, stumbled upon something which is now approaching half a billion in sales activates our cellular transcription pathways to upregulate our body's defense and repair mechanisms. The stories that I get through my email, Facebook, text, each and every day is just so encouraging. Success stories, people struggling with so many different things that are now overcoming uh, in small part with a formulation that God blessed me with to be conduit for. Now we're working with botanical extracts to create light. And we have light panels now that we can light up with frequency instead of electricity. And so our, our next goal is to provide light to the 1.6 billion people around the world that have no access to electricity, that suffer the inhalation of dangerous kerosene fumes fossil fuels, lung damage, decreased productivity, many ailments associated. But my passion is the traffic jam campaign, jamming up child trafficking and slavery around the world. We'll be celebrating our, our 10 year anniversary next year through frontline prevention, rescue, and aftercare programs we can now say that 15,000 children are free today as a result of our work. Children in brothels, children in militias, child soldiers, prostituted children. Now you can imagine even the physical that they have to endure, but after the rescue, the psychological torment that goes far deeper than any of the physical wounds. Invisible, invisible children, invisible disabilities. And we're glad to be doing our part to come alongside those frontline specialists who truly are making a difference in the lives of these kids. And I thank you, Wayne. I thank you, Ida, for being a champion for those around the world who suffer. Thank you so much for being a beacon of light in such a dark and hurting world. Thank you.